So my kids went from dragging through their math lessons each day to now they are begging me to get their math done. And so we used to use Math Mammoth and when we took a break for school back in May, we decided to take a full month and just go all in with Beast Academy Online. So this video, I am sharing my experience with Beast Academy Online. Now we've been doing it for more than a year and we've been using it as a supplemental program, but over the last few months, we have switched to making it our core math curriculum and we are so pleased with it, but I have to say it was a learning curve for me. So today I'm sharing with you our journey and also a little review about Beast Academy Online, why it's awesome. And at the end of the video, I will be sharing just a, a walkthrough of the Online Academy, some of the resources that they have, and also like what the parents portal looks like so that you can get an idea of that if that's something that you will work for your family. I'm Joy Cherick. I am a mother of six children. I homeschool using the Charlotte Mason philosophy and on this channel I do videos about Charlotte Mason homeschooling, nature study, and family life. So the first part of Beast Academy Online that I want to talk about is how it moved my kids from dragging through their lessons to now they are more motivated. As we've moved over to Beast Academy Online, the kids have taken more ownership of learning math, but also I've seen it spark just a sense of wonder, a sense of enjoyment and delight that was not present in our other curriculum. I would have to like put my finger on each problem for my children to do them. And that was so frustrating for both of us. And now they are curious. They have engaged their critical thinking. And I think that that is the genius of Beast Academy Online. So traditional math programs do something called drill and kill, where you are just learning a concept and then you are drilling it. With Beast Academy Online and just the Beast Academy products, this is from Art of Problem Solving. They are the elite creators of a math curriculum that, I mean, I just, I've not heard of anyone that are, who are better and love math more and are also gifted in teaching and conveying the creative way there's the creative component of mathematics. What they do in Beast Academy is they engage your critical thinking and really get you to start learning all the different ways to think about doing a math problem. And they're like, okay, now here's, they show you like all the different ways that you could get to the same answer. And they're saying, okay, well, what is the most efficient way to get there? What's the fastest way to get there? So then they have you, and I'll show this at the end of the video, just so that you can see it a little bit. Then they kind of show you how you can find the answer and really, again, put it back on the student to think about, okay, well, which way would get me there more quickly? For example, my son will come up to me and say, mom, whenever I want to find what something times 12 is, I just do it by six and then I double it. So that is something that he came up with on his own as a trick, a shortcut, so that he doesn't have to think about, you know, all the things. So isn't that clever? There are lots of tricks like that, that again, they're starting to teach and lead the children to that are beyond drill and kill. So we're talking about just a rote memorization of all of your math facts. What's happening is they're starting to use them. So then they learn them by the way, instead of just straightforward. And of course, as a Charlotte Mason home educator, someone who loves the idea of um, learning things through our atmosphere and our environment, I do feel like Beast Academy has discovered um, the beauty of math and how to teach it well. Is Beast Academy Online a full 
math curriculum. And absolutely, yes, 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 it is. It just, because we were using it with Math Mammoth and it lined up nicely as a supplement to help us. Now, what I've seen is that was actually not helping my students by using it that way. Um, really, what we're doing now is we're looking at the curriculum, the Beast Academy Online curriculum, second grade through fifth grade, and we're saying, okay, we want our children to master second grade through fifth grade before they move on to pre-algebra. And let me tell you, I'm pretty confident that at least two of my children are going to get there long before second, or excuse me, long before sixth grade. And I have one student who will probably take until seventh or eighth grade to qualify into pre-algebra. But that is okay because we're really talking about mastery and we're talking about understanding these concepts. Like we want them to know math and understand it well, not just, okay, now you're in first, you know, you're in third grade, you're going to move up to the third grade book, right? With math or any other skill, you are where you are. And so we just really see this program as a way to cultivate their hard work. It really forces them to think and it really engages their minds in ways I just don't see other places. It really helps me as a teacher because I am not having to, I'm really more of their tutor. I'm more of a support person. You know, if they don't understand something, y'all, for the most part, I also do not understand it. So we have to watch the video together. We have to read the instructions together. We have to get a sheet of paper out and write it down. And all of these things are, again, pushing it back on the student to figure it out. So we've definitely had tears. We've definitely had frustration with it. And I'm going to say right now, that is not a bad thing. And it's probably a sign that it's starting to encourage some fortitude and encourage them to think for themselves. And thinking for yourself is, it's hard work, guys. So as you can see, this is the parents panel. And this is for my second grader. And I just want to give you kind of an orientation on what I'm looking at here. So over here... These are the tests that he's taken. So you'll notice over here that there are these locks. And I just opened up this one for him and this one when he got that one star on his test. And the reason for that is you can actually go into the settings and change it. And I found that the kids were just jumping all around um, instead of you know, mastering one section and going to the next. And then over here, this is where it shows me his activity level and exactly what, you know, this is how much time he spent today. And then these are all the different sections that he worked on. You can see that it took, he spent 30 minutes in the morning working on his test. And then he, he just wanted to get on it again later. So he's just dabbling in some of these other areas, doing well in some, needing help in others. And then this is showing me that he's not understanding this concept and that I need to sit down with him. So as you can see here, this is what the student sees when they go in. So these are their regular lessons this is the puzzle lab that has kind of brain teasers and some other critical thinking games. And this is the library. The library actually has, let me click on this and show you. This has the Beast Academy comic book that explains the concepts in a very fun way. And we actually own all of the Beast Academy guidebooks is what these are called. So see, you can click on each one and go to the different ones. And then the theater, these, this is where they have all of the lessons. I'm just going to touch on this one. Those are about two minutes long. 
and you really don't want them to be much longer. Sometimes they get maybe up to four minutes, but they're always kind of just a snippet explaining one concept on these sections here. So you can see here, he has not completed this one. And then it'll show us, see he's in the middle of working on this. That means he's in progress of getting through this. And then he doesn't have a star on this one. So this kind of tells him where he ranks in these different sections. And then this is all locked. He is not qualified to move up to those sections. So I'll just show you one area. So this is what the word problem section will look like. And then you notice here, it only unlocks as he gets these answers correct. And if he doesn't get the answers correct, that's when I will get an email. Like if he gets it wrong enough times in a row, I'll get an email saying that he needs help. And what's so interesting, so here you can see they can actually write on here. I actually keep a pen and, uh, or excuse me, a pencil and a pad of paper um, next to their computer because this seems to be a little bit more messy um, and cumbersome for them. If they have, you know, we have a touchpad, it doesn't, it's not as great, I don't know. Okay, so choose the expression that stands for the sum of eight. And then you automatically see whether or not you get it right. And then you'll notice up here that it opened up, it unlocked the next question. Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And I will leave a link to the resources that I have talked about today. I do not get any kickback or whatever from Beast Academy online for this review. It is simply my opinion and the experience of my family. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.